Alright guys, exciting. They arrived. <laughs> expecting our Dubai's today um, but it, as you can see we need to do a little bit of cleaning first we've got this tub and we've got that tub there I think we're gonna go ahead and keep our feeders over in this clear one and put our breeders over here in this dark one it's not gonna really make a difference considering I'm gonna go ahead and probably put a blanket around the sides of this one just so that it's dark I mean but it's you know really not a necessity considering they're only the feeders um, but I want them to be as comfortable as possible and they don't like the light so so that's what I'm going to do. Go ahead and get it ready. Alright, so we finally got it clean. Now all these guys are over in here. These, like I said, are the feeders. And I'm going to go ahead and put the breeders in here. Alright guys, excited. They arrived. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and unbox these bad boys. What we got was, um, I believe it was 15 females adults and five male adults we also got 200 uh, small Dubai's for feeders if Kim was here she'd be saying you better be doing that over the bin all right so this one is Okay, this one's the breeders. This one's five adult pair. So we got five pairs, male and female, and then we have uh, 12 female adults. And this would be the this would be the 200 half inch roaches. All right, so this is where we do have to put it over the cage. There we go. Let's stick them in here. All right, what do we got here? Looking good. Yeah, we. It, this was just a small order, uh, 200. Just go ahead and sit this up here. I'll leave it in there. And a good amount down there in the bottom. And they always give you more than you ask for. So I'm going to set this box in here for now and then get them out when I shut off the video all right now let's get to <clears throat> what I'm so excited about all right this is what I've been so excited about like I the other one. might not be doing very good camera work here but I'm trying to pay attention that I don't lose any roaches coming out You go ahead and stick this in here right now. Oh, there we are. That's right. See how big that sucker is? Now that's a male. They're the ones that show the wings. They can't fly. And right there's a female. And them suckers get big. Look at that. That is right. Oh, I've been waiting for these. Alright. I'm going to get you guys some food. And plug up your heat. I need to get you all set here. I don't want to tap you too hard, so I'm going to set this camera down, break the box open, and just scoot them off the box. These are my babies. Alright, so hold on, I'm gonna pause it. Alright. So most of them have made their way off the box. Okay, so they're all off. Look at these guys. Sorry if I seem so excited. Like I said, you know, this is this is our first time breeding. And uh we've only been ordering small since we've had Nipsey, so all right. So if I counted correctly, uh, 
they gave me I think one or two extra females and two extra males so I'm gonna see if that works I'm gonna see how they work I may have to take out a male or two just to get it closer to the ratio I'm looking for so um, but uh, let me go ahead and stick this food in here big old dish of Dubai diet there's our water crystals now we don't have oranges we're gonna go to the store to get some oranges but uh in the meantime we have these orange cricket uh, gut loader little cubes these I don't know what they are they're just orange cubes for for crickets uh, but they should work I also have a couple blackberries again until we just get the oranges and her bananas are pretty good too they like them I'm gonna go get the heating pad which is not what we're gonna use permanently for the heating pad it's <laughs> it's it's really just it's not meant for this but, um, as you can see man it's fuzzy and everything you know it's definitely not meant for this um, so we're you know well I can't say we Kim's glad that <clears throat> that I finally got the breeders and they'll shut up about them probably but um, I'm excited I'm excited that uh, we can get this started and uh, do videos to follow up on it alright so let's go check on these guys real fast See if they, there's still a good amount in the box. I'm going to go ahead and open the box and let them walk all off of it too. Out. I'm not so quick to grab these guys as I am the little ones. Yet. It's going to take a second. As excited as I am, it's still, I need to get used to it. They're bigger and it's definitely a, a different feel. Ooh. There we go. That's one of the smaller ones. Plan to do some update videos. Definitely going to do some update videos. Uh, follow along with this colony. You know, it's it's small now. I'm hoping to every hoping every two weeks to add to it a little bit, but definitely going to be adding to it in the future. Look, they're already messing up the place. All right, so we've let them chill for a few hours, um, kind of get settled, and uh, I want to go check on them. And before I close this video out, I want to go over a few things for those who might want to start a colony. Now, um, hold on, let me shut this window. You know, I do want to say that this is the first time we're starting one. So some of this is trial and error. You know, I've researched a lot of this stuff already um, and actually did few months before we even got our dragon along with what we were researching with our dragon um, because this is what we had decided on uh, being the primary you know our, our bearded dragons primary meat source look at you juicy now um what I wanted to do was basically go over how you know are the decisions we're making to start now this is going to be a series that we want to do um, where it's basically updates of how the colony's going, uh, what we're doing, maybe what we've kept and what we've changed about how we're doing it. Um, but, you know, of course, this first time, I'll, I'll go over basically what we're, um, we're doing to start off. All right. Well, first and foremost, like I said, we're starting small. Um, we had originally ordered 17 females, uh, 5 males. And, um, you know, we, we'd heard about a ratio of, well, we've heard three different, basically, uh, 5 1, 4 1, and 3 1. Uh, we wanted it uh, most ideally 3 1 ratio, but um, it's definitely not that now, especially with the addition, um, the additions to, uh, of the females and the males that we had gotten in the mail, which is awesome. Uh, but, you know, somebody had recently told us that, you know, the males have a tendency of dying off quicker, so. You know, it's he he ends up keeping more fe or more males anyway. It's just that you don't want to outdo that ratio because or outweigh that ratio because the the males they have a tendency to uh, get aggressive. They will kill each other and they'll also eat the babies. And so you can't have them snacking on the babies because that's the entire point of all this in the first place. And these guys definitely got some size to them, buddy. We're just so used to those small. Now how we're feeding them, 
just gonna feed them right now that what we have in there right this minute that's a Dubai diet right here that's the crystals and uh, just to have some fruit in there what we had in the refrigerator at the minute was blackberries we had some of these orange cubes that we were feeding to gut load our crickets and you know they had gotten actually right on those cubes not long after I'd put them in the bin but what is what's been most recommended to us is oranges oranges and bananas but oranges is probably the most um, let me grab one of these females up here they are definitely a different feel than those small ones are they got some weight to them buddy and they are solid right, but as solid as they may feel um, their exoskeletons are, are pretty soft it makes them extremely easy, easy to uh, digest for your dragon what we're, what we're using bin wise is one that you can't see through um, they don't like the light now we do have the feeders in one that can be seen through I just transferred those over from in here and uh, but I'm gonna put a blanket around that one it's not a big deal anyway and, and regardless they're feeders so they're gonna just be fed off alright when it comes to the heat um, <clears throat> we're gonna shoot for 90 to 95 ideally just wanted to show you for the for the uh, temperature now it says over here 90 hold on about 90 so that's right around where the heating pad's still on so <clears throat> it's about 90 degrees looking just about ideal just about perfect so now I, I have heard that that's good somebody said their roaches don't breed until it gets to 100 and that's usually their best spot so um, but I'm definitely not gonna let it get any hotter than that uh, this heating pad eh, what we're using for the heating pad is just some home cheap heating pad so uh, what we're going to do is is go out and buy, you know, I mean, it really doesn't matter which one. They supply them just for this, Zoomed, um, Exoterra, wherever. Um, but the point is, is really, I guess what's most important would be how large you want it. You know, what we're going to do is, what and what we're doing right now is just covering half of it. Um, and letting the other side be the cool side. Over here's the cool side, over here's the hot side. And um, what we have right here... <clears throat> we have a water bottle and this is for humidity and with the humidity it's been recommended that it be 60 degrees so we're going to try to shoot for that 60 degrees humidity I stuck a hygrometer in here to see and keep track right now we're at 50 but I just recently stuck it in there so it might go up we'll see and if I have to see this has a hole in the top if I have to I'll stick a few more holes in it see if that makes a difference as well Alright, this is more of a suggestion than anything, um, but <clears throat> with our feeder roaches, when it comes to these crates, we like to stick them horizontal, or we like to stick them vertical, because when you stick them flat, when they use the bathroom, it just builds up inside these, these divots here, and it just soils them. Um, it makes them nasty real quick. Really, when they're sitting upright like this, it all basically falls off. Um, you're going to have to eventually change them anyway, but it just, it's, you know, they last longer when you stick them upright. This is just the start of our, start of our Dubai Roach Colony. I'm excited.